Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on the last part of Unit 7 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 5. And this unit is about fractions, decimals, and percentages. And this part is aimed to check students' understanding of the lesson. The first question in this part says, Marcus says, I know that one quarter of a number is six. I can find the number by multiplying six by four. Is Marcus correct? So first of all, we have to know what it is meant by one quarter. One quarter means one fourth of something. One quarter of a number is equal to six. Now to find what number over here is, According to the rule, we have to divide 6 by 1 and then multiply by 4. Because the number here is 1, if we divide 6 by 1, also we will get 6. So Marcus in this case is correct because 6 times 4 is equal to 24 gives us the number of here. And now 1 quarter or 1 fourth of 24 is equal to? Six. In this case, we can say yes. Marcus is correct. And this is how we explain the answer. In question two, it says write 27 fourth as a mixed number. 27 fourth as a mixed number. 27 fourth is an improper fraction. Let me write it here. 27 four here to get the mixed number we can either divide 27 by four or we can think how many fours we can take out of 27 if we know the times table for four we can easily find it out we know that five times four is 20 six times four is 24 and seven times four is 28 so we can get six fours out of 27 and another three will be left three fourth this is now the mixed number six and three fourth the other way we can divide 27 by four now two cannot be divided by four we take 27 so we know that six times four is 24 now 27 minus 24 or we can simply say 7 minus 4 is 3 and 2 minus 2 is 0 we don't need to write it now the number that we get here is the whole number now we can write 6 and 3 is still going to be divided by 4 so we can write 6 and 3 4 this is the mixed number that we can get from 27 4 the third question says, what percentage of each diagram is shaded? What percentage of each diagram is shaded? Each diagram is having a hundred squares or a hundred small squares. Now we have to find out how many out of the hundred squares are shaded. Then that is showing the percentage. So each line or each column is 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. For the first one, 44% of the diagram is shaded. We can write 44% of the diagram. Let me write it here so that it should be visible. 44% of the diagram. Here also we have 100 small squares and we have to count how many of them are shaded. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So here 75 percent of the diagram is shaded. 75 percent of the diagram is shaded. Because each row is 10 small squares. If we count the number of rows, here we have one two three four five six 
7 1 2 3 4 5 so it shows the 75 percent of the whole diagram is shaded we have seven rows that are shaded completely and we have in part c of this question also we have a hundred small squares and we have to find out what percentage of the diagram is shaded so we know that each row is 10 small squares so 10 20 25 30 here 30 percent of the diagram is shaded 30 percent of the diagram is shaded when we say percentage we mean out of 100 because we have 100 small squares in these diagrams we can find out out of 100 how many of them are shaded let's go to question 4 in question 4 it says copy and complete this table of equivalent fractions decimals and percentages in the first column we have fraction in the second column we have decimal and in the third column we have percentage it means whatever is given in the first column in fraction it should be given in decimals in the second column and it should be in percentage in the third column in the first row we have three tenth to change it to decimal we can divide three by ten we can divide three by ten we know that three is less than ten it cannot be divided by ten so we give a zero in a decimal point and a zero here beside three it becomes 30. now three times ten so three times ten is equal to 30 and we have a remainder of zero so the decimal of three tenth is 0 0.3 0 0.3 and to change it to percentage percentage you know that is out of a hundred so if we have three tenth and we don't know what percentage it is we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by a number that makes the denominator a hundred so that number is 10 here if you multiply both the numerator and denominator by 10 we get a hundred in the denominator so 3 times 10 is 30 and 10 times 10 is a hundred it means 3 tenth is showing 30 percent is showing 30 percent because 3 because 30 out of 100 is taken in the second row we have 10 person 10 person means 10 out of 100 10 out of 100 and if we want to change it to decimal we have to divide 10 by 100 if we divide the same way as we did in 3 tenth we can divide 10 by 100 and we get 0 0.1 so the decimal here can be 0 0.1 and the fraction over here can be 1 tenth 1 tenth or 10 hundred how can we change 10 hundred into 1 tenth we can simply cancel the zero with the zero here so we have one one tenth left here in the third row we have 0 0.2 0 0.2 is showing two tenth it is showing two tenth how can we change it to fraction and percentage so when we have 0 0.2 for example 0 0.2 here we have one decimal place if there is one decimal place after the decimal point it means that number is divided by 10 that number is divided by 10 so this is now showing 2 tenth let me write here 2 tenth and we know that 2 tenth is showing 20 percent how we can simply do multiply by 10 if you multiply by 10 we get 20 100 20 out of 100 means 20 percent in the fourth row we have 2300 so this is 0 0.22 and the percentage is 
23 because 23 out of 100 is showing 23 percent let me give the percentage sign also here also in the fifth row we have 25 percent 25 percent means 25 out of 100 and it is equal to 0 0.25 so the decimal will be 0 0.25 in 25 out of 100 if we divide 25 by 100 we will get let me erase some parts over here if we divide 25 by 100 so to change 0 0.25 to fraction we know that we have two decimal places we have two decimal places this means 25 is divided by 100 because if we have two decimal places, it means we have two zeros beside the one and the powers of 10. So the number here is 25 hundreds. 25 hundreds. In the sixth row, we have 0 0.7 in the decimal column. 0 0.7 means 70%. 70% means 70% out of 100 as a fraction if we simplify it will be 7 tenth it will be 7 tenth well let me scroll up to go to question 5 in question 5 it says write these fractions decimals and percentages in order is starting with the smallest so over here we have 3 fourth 0 0.2 1 fourth 70 percent and 0 0.3 to be able to sort these fractions decimals and percentages i will change them all to decimals change them all to decimals so the first one is 3 fourth 3 fourth means a hundred percent of something is divided into four equal parts for example if we have a circle this circle is divided into four equal parts and out of four three of them is taken for example if this is 100 each one will be 25 so 125 225 325 so it will show 75 out of 100 which is equal to 0 0.75 so 3 fourth is equal to 0 0.75 0 0.2 is already in decimal 1 fourth if we for example consider this circle out of four equal parts one of them is left for example one of them is left blank what percentage or what decimal it is 0 0.25 how because the whole circle is divided into four equal parts and out of the four equal parts one of them is left and that one is showing 25%. So it is 25% means 25 out of 100. If we divide 25 by 100, we will get 0 0.25. 70% means 0 0.7. Because 70% is, 70% is, let me write here, 70% is 0, 70 out of 100. It will be 7 out of 10. It, it will be 0 0.7. Seven. And the last one is 0 0.3, which is already in decimal. Now we have to start from the smallest. So here, the smallest decimal is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 because it shows 20%. It shows 20%. The second one is 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Let me write here 0 0.25. 25 which shows 20 percent and the third one can be 0 0.3 which shows 30 percent the fourth one can be 0 0.7 which shows 70 percent and the last one can be 3 fourth or 0 0.75 which shows 75%. 75 75%. 75 so if we face this type of questions in which we have 
fraction, decimal, and percentages, we can simply change them to one type of maybe a fraction, maybe a decimal, or maybe a percentage. So here we first change them to decimals like 0 0.75, 0 0.25, 0 0.7, and so on. So we could simply order them starting from the smallest, which is 0 0.2, to the biggest, which is 0 0.75. This is how we can work with fractions, decimals, and percentages, and how we can find equivalent decimal to a given fraction or to a given percentage. I hope it makes sense for you and it helps you learn how to solve problems related to fractions, decimals, and percentages. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel like the video and share the video with your friends your classmates and your students if you're a teacher and please give any comments or any questions you have in the comment section under this video have a nice time and thank you so much